Hi everyone. Welcome to the first Strapi Conf. We are super excited to have you here today. Here are some numbers about the conference. 30 talks and workshops, 5,000 attendees and 19 sponsors. Thank you to the speakers for the amazing talks they are going to share today. The speakers panel clearly showcases how Strapi grew from a small project to a key part of company stacks across all industries. Thank you to our sponsors for their support and contribution in making this event a success. It is truly exciting to build the future of the web together with such a vibrant ecosystem. The event is split into three tracks. In the Adopt track, you will discover the benefits of using Strapi through exciting case studies. In the Build track, the community will showcase how innovative companies are building world-class Jamstack architectures and sharing best practices for Strapi-powered applications. In the Integrate track, you will learn how Strapi can be integrated with other technologies to push the boundaries of the modern web and e-commerce. No matter if you're a Strapi expert or just heard about it, you will learn a lot today. Some of you have probably noticed that the StrapiConf website and even platform look familiar. And that's because in order to provide a unique experience for the StrapiConf attendees, we decided to use the virtual event starter kit built by the Versal team for NextJSConf. This is powered by Strapi. We are very serious about dogfooding our product from the Strapi.io website to the way we manage the Strapi Enterprise Edition license server. So the decision to use Strapi for our first user conference was quite natural. I'm happy to announce that this virtual event starter is available as an open source Strapi template on GitHub. We are using Discord as our official interaction platform for speaker Q&A, sponsor booth, and giveaways. If you have not already, please join the conversation there to network with the Strapi team, sponsors, and members of the community. In the interest of fostering an open and welcoming environment for all attendees, we are committed to making this event inclusive and harassment free please make sure to follow the guidelines included in our code of conduct. I also invite you to share your feedback, questions, and favorite moments on Twitter with this topic of hashtag. Thank you so much for being here today. It's gonna be an amazing moment together. Today, I'm gonna tell you a story. The story of Strapi. Six years ago, Aurelian, Jim, and I were students. To make money, we worked as freelance developers. We made many websites using traditional CMSs. But when we had to do a mobile application or wanted to use a modern front-end framework, it was Angular 1 at the time, traditional CMSs were not a good fit. We needed something that was API-based. Also, as JavaScript developers, we wanted our CMS to be customizable with the same programming language. Frustrated by the available solutions, we decided to create our own piece of software. We started using it for our clients' projects, and then we actually realized that thousands of people were having similar needs. So we decided to make the project available for everyone. The first option, which was probably the easiest, was to build proprietary software through the SaaS offering. But the reality is that we were heavy users of open source traditional CMSs. For us, it was the only way as developers to keep control over our stack, host the data on our own servers while customizing the CMS according to our needs. It was also a great opportunity to give back to the open source communities we were part of. For us, it was a no-brainer. Any CMS had to be open source. So we released the project on GitHub under the MIT license on the 1st of October, 2015. Strapi was born. Until the end of our studies, we maintained the project as much as we could, spending our nights, weekends, and holidays on it. 
We worked as a small web agency to keep improving the product while using it in production. And we finally switched full-time on the project in mid-2017. This is when we introduced the V3 of Strapi with a brand new React admin panel and the initial plugin system. That was the real beginning of the story. In 2018, we added key features such as file upload, rich text editor, and GraphQL. We started our first fundraising workshop, which was extremely hard. We finally closed it with a negative amount of 30K dollars on our bank account. It could have been the end of Strapi. But since then, everything accelerated. In 2019, we released a component library named Buffet.js. That way, anyone could develop plugins using the same design system. Building a huge ecosystem of plugins has always been part of our vision. We introduced the dynamic zones and components, which made Strapi the most flexible CMS. In 2020, major improvements have been added to make Strapi even more professional. The media library, the stable version, wall-based access control, draft and publish, just to name a few. Within a few years, Strapi grew from zero to 3 million downloads, 35,000 stars on GitHub, 650 contributors, 250,000 lines of code, 15,000 commits, and 250 plugins available on NPM. All of these achievements wouldn't have been possible without the amazing Strapi community. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. The community has never been as active and enthusiastic as now. Thank you to the early adopters who always encouraged us to make Strapi better. Your feedback has been extremely valuable. Each of your positive messages have been heard and appreciated. Today, I'd like to make a special shout out to the top contributors, especially the community stars, for their commitment. Huge thank you to the Strapi team, who is doing an amazing job every day to make Strapi as great as it is today. I am extremely proud of our team. Thank you to the underlying text that Strapi is based on. We wouldn't be there without the technologies. So today, we decided to allocate a budget to support these projects. This budget will be split across Storybook, Webpack, and Bubble. Strapi is now used by tens of thousands of freelancers, startups, web agencies, and many of the biggest companies all over the world. As you may know, Strapi is available through both a community edition and an enterprise edition. The enterprise edition is an extension of the community edition. It includes custom roles for admin users, single sign-on, and support. Thank you to our customers for making the project a bit more sustainable day after day and helping us making Strapi production ready for large-scale implementation and challenging use cases. Thank you to the universities and nonprofits for being part of the Free Enterprise Edition program. We are glad to help you make the world a better place. Thank you to our investors for supporting the project and being very well aligned with our vision. Last but not least, thank you to all of our solution partners for making Strapi their de facto CMS. Again, thank you everyone for being part of this journey. And I have good news for you today. This is only the beginning. The CMS market drastically changed over the past decades. Everything started with static websites. Uh, when the web started, it was the only way to create web pages. But updating content was very complex for non-technical people. This is a reason why traditional CMSs have been created a few years later. Then, smartphones and other devices appeared. The content had not only to be displayed on websites, but also on mobile applications, IoT, and other devices. Even the way to create a website really changed. Developers want to use modern front-end frameworks. Headless CMSs solved all of this issue through an API-first approach. And the future is about no-code, low-code, thanks to connected services. The reason why we wake up every morning 
is to fuel the world's creativity and productivity by unleashing the power of atomic content. Over the next few years, we plan to double down on what makes Trapi so unique. Open source, customization capabilities, and a large ecosystem of plugins and partners. To do so, we'll prioritize around three main axes. Create, connect, and collaborate. Create is all about the website or application building phase. Most of the time, headless CMSs are configured by developers. We've been in the shoes, so we know what it is. We want to offer the best developer experience in the market. We want to make your life easier. We want you to have fun. For all of these reasons, we will focus on API tokens, SDKs, custom fields, TypeScript support, first-class documentation, and even a hosted version of Strapi. Connect is about the ecosystem. What made the success of traditional CMSs are the ecosystems of plugins they've built around them. It's going to be the exact same story for headless CMSs. Actually, it will be even more relevant since everything is about APIs. We strongly believe in integrations with other technologies. The assets have to be stored in different locations. The content has to be synchronized with search engines. The CMS has to be connected with e-commerce solutions. Also, we think the content will be at the heart of the entire experience. That's why we believe it should be integrated with tools like Sketch and Figma. That way, designers can work with real content added by editors. After this, developers can use the same content by connecting their front end to the CMS. No code is a fantastic trend. Strapi will be part of this movement. In the future, we'll provide a marketplace so everyone can share extensions or download high-quality, secure, and certified plugins. Collaborate is about the editing experience. At the end of the day, CMSs are mostly useful for marketing teams. Thanks to CMSs, content editors can update websites and applications without reaching out to, the, to programmers. CMSs are often great for developers, but not for marketers, or the opposite. We want to make Strapi great, both for technical and non-technical people. We believe in a CMS with a smooth, comfortable, and easy editing experience, where editors can work together. You, as users, suggested tons of ideas that will come in the future. Previews, versioning, comments, reviews, which text editor with links, content migration across environments, import, export, real-time editing, audit logs, a responsive dashboard, a mobile application, a desktop application, and even content powered by artificial intelligence. All of these things will take time. In any case, this is where we're going together. So, if you believe in this vision and want to be part of this journey, post a message on Discord and stay connected for the amazing announcements that Aurélien, Alex and Jim are going to make now. I wish you an excellent conference.